This video will show you how to use Pictello to create a story in wizard mode. Um, it will also show you how to check you've got the right voice installed for your stories. Uh, how to create a story um, by adding in a picture or a video um, with the text and also how to lock down the restrictions so that the young person can't get in and delete any stories accidentally. So first of all I'm going to go into my Pictello app. Here we've got my um, library um, and in my library I've got several folders um, that I've created. There's a sample stories folder, a school folder and a home folder. Um, I can create those folders by clicking the folder option which is in the middle of my screen at the bottom and I can create a new folder that way. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to create a story. I'm going to do a story about my dog Archie. Um, first of all, if you haven't already got all of those options at the bottom of your screen, it means that you're in a restricted mode. Um, so I'll show you how to get into that. So if I come out of Pictello and into settings of the iPad, scroll down on the left hand side to find Pictello. There we go. And this allow editing button, if you toggle that off, you will see that all of my options at the bottom of the screen in Pictello are no longer there. So we need to make sure that when we finish creating a story, that we take those options off um, to try and restrict it as much as possible. So with those restrictions, you can still read a story and play a story, but you can't create a new one. So I'm just going to go back in and put those settings back on so that we can create a story. Okay, so I'm in Pictello. Um, I'm going to click the add button, the, the single cross that would give me um, create a story. The cross inside the folder, um, as I said before, creates a folder so you can create several folders and in there you can have individual stories. We've got a share button, we don't tend to use that very often because we're, we're creating personal stories, we don't want to share them. Although you can print them off um, to a PDF file that way should you want to. And then we've got our cog at the end which gives us all of our options. So I'm going to click on the cog first because I want to make sure that I've got the right voice installed. Um, so I'm going to click on there and then as you can see you can change the volume in here, pronunciation, we'll go through that later. You can change various different things in terms of what the story presents, um, how the story presents in playback. Um, and you can also do backups and things like that at the bottom as well. So at the top, I'm going to go into the voice manager. And as you can see, I've got Harry already installed. So we tend to find that our young people, if they are a, a young female, tend to choose the Rosie voice. Um, or if they're a young male, tend to choose the Harry voice. Because they're the genuine child voices rather than the computerised voices. If there's a voice on there and you're not happy with, you can change it. Um, but you can also, if you scroll down, there are all of these different types of voices that you could have um, which will need installing. So um, you can listen to what they are like. Hello, I am Elizabeth. Okay, and then you can click on them and click on download. But obviously you need to make sure you're on the Wi-Fi to do that. That will then uh, go to right to the top and it will add into your install voices up here. And then you can choose which voice you would like. So I'm going to stick with Harry at the moment because that's the one that I am going to use. So I'm going to come out of that. So once you've, you've set up the voice manager and you've got the right voice, all of your um, stories will then play from that voice if they've been created by you. If they've been created by somebody else and sent to you, for example, the sample stories, they will still continue to play in the voice that they've been set up with. So I'm going to create a story. So I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to create a story just within here and not within a folder. I'm going to click on my add button and then it gives me an option of wizard mode and expert mode. This video will go through wizard mode. It's probably the easiest step by step way to create a quick story. Um, expert mode gives you a bit more, bit more options of what, how it looks and how it presents. So I'm going to go through wizard mode first. Okay, and it'll first thing it'll ask me to do is what is the title of my story? Um, if I just hide the keyboard, you can see there's not really anything else I can do on that screen apart from put a title in, 
listen to what I need to do. What is the title of your story? I've got a cancel button top left, which goes back to my library and an X button for when I've created my title. So I'm just going to put in, I'm going to call it my, my dog. Archie. Archie. Okay. I'm going to press next. It's now going to ask me for a cover picture. So I can add a picture in here. I can take a picture. I can't add a video, I don't think, from for cover. No, you can't. So I can choose a fo from photo library of a picture I already have, or I can take a picture right now um, of Archie. I'm going to choose one from the photo library. So in there, it will. this is where your, all your photos will be on the iPad. So I am going to go into, oh, let's have that one. And at this point, I can uh, sort of zoom in and zoom out and, and crop the picture where how I want it. Um, so if it's something that's far away in the picture, you can still have, you know, you can see it better on the screen. So I'm going to click that. Now before I press choose picture I'm going to press use. Oh this has just come off there. Sorry. Try that again. I'm going to click use at the top right um, and therefore I've, I've got it straight in there. So um, I can just change the picture if I decide that I really don't like that picture um, but other than that all I can do is go to the previous screen which changes the title or I click next to continue. So it's going to read that title, My Dog Archie, currently with the text with voiced Harry. So that means that because I've installed the Harry voice, it's going to automatically click that each time. What I can do is change it to make a recording. So it could be that a parent reads it out um, or you can choose a different voice for that particular page or that particular title page um, if you so wish. So just by clicking on that, you can see the different installed voices. And then if you click on make a recording, you click on the recording button, say read it out and then click it again. Okay, so I'm going to leave it with text with voice Harry and I'm going to press next to go into the next screen. So what it's given me now is some options. So at the moment, all I've got is a title page um, and I need to add on further pages to my book page at a time. So you will get this review screen coming up quite often. As soon as you've created a new page and you've finished editing it, you'll get this page up with, with slightly different options on. So I can see the title at the top. I can change the title. I can start adding pages, which is what we're going to do. Or I can press done. If I press done now, it won't actually open up as a story because all I've created is the title page that you see on the screen. Um, there's nothing to actually read out really so we need to go into adding a page so I'm going to click on that one and now we've got the opposite so at the beginning for the title page you ask for the, the, the text first and then the picture this time and for any subsequent pages you create a you, you choose the picture first or video and then you put the text in after so it's going to ask me to choose a picture or a video choose a picture from a photo library. If you want to choose a video, you also go into your photo library and do it that way. Haven't got any videos of Archie on here, I don't think. So I am going to, I'm going to start with the same picture this time. Okay, so I'm going to click uh, use at the top. I'm going to use that picture. Again, I can change it if I decide on the screen that I don't like it anymore. And then I'm going to click next. And now I've got my text in. So I can I can put text in at the top, I can put text in at the bottom, I could put text in either or or both. In uh, wizard mode, you can't really change the font or anything like that. Um, it's, it's fixed. And the idea is to make it a really quick way of creating some really quick stories. So I'm going to put um, text in here. I'm going to put this. This is... And as you can see, it reads out as you type. Archie. And then at the bottom, I'm going to put... He is a... Ooh. Keep doing that with my keyboard. Ken. 
terrier. He's a can terrier. Okay, and then um, I can click on next. Right, these um, buttons on the left hand side with the speed. This is Archie. Just read it out in one go so you can hear, um, which will help the young person if they do start to do some typing, they'll be able to hear any mistakes that are made um, and able to correct it. So here I get the, the sound page again. So it's going to ask me, it's going to assume I want to use a Harry voice. I could also have no sound, in which case it won't read anything out for me, but will still show the text. I can choose a different voice, or again, I can make a recording. So I'm going to stick with uh, Harry voice, click next. And then I get this review page again. So I can go back and change my title page. I can add more pages. Now I've got an edit page that will edit any pages you've already created. And once we've done a couple of pages on here, I can I will show you how to edit a page and then click and then you've got a done with story, which um, sort of finishes your book off and saves it. So I'm going to click on add another page. Again, I need to choose my picture or video. So if you if you go in to take a photo or a video, all it will do is bring up your um, video function on your, on your iPad um, and you just use that as normal. You can then um, review it before you can before you put it into your story. It will pick up the sound on the video as well. So sometimes it's nice to have that and not have the text speaking out because you want to hear what's going on in the video. So I'm going to go choose from photo library. I'm going to choose this one, choose uh, use, use that one, click next and I'm going to put Archie likes to visit the beach. And then I'm going to leave the bottom one this time. I'm going to click next. And again, it's going to ask me text with ha voice Harry, no sound, choose a voice or make a recording. I'm going to click next. I'm going to add one more page and then I'm going to show you how to edit the pages. So add a page, choose a picture from the photo library and I'm going to click on this one. Use next and I'm going to put this time Archie has a friend called Boomer Archie has a friend called Boomer click next again keep that sound that voice um, Harry and then I'm going to click next and then I'm going to press done this time okay so I'm going to press done with story my story has, has come up there, there's my title page and my title picture and what happens when I click on it is that I can, at the bottom I can use a manual which means that I have to click on each part of the text to read it out and then click on next to turn the page. Autoplay um, means that you, you turn the page yourself but then it will read everything out and all in one go and then slideshow means that you'd press play, sit back and it does it all for you. Okay, so I'm going to click on autoplay, I'm going to click play. My dog Archie. This is Archie. He is a Cairn Terrier. And that won't do anything until I press the next page now, which gives you a chance to talk about the story or talk about the picture um, and, and comment on what's going on. Archie likes to visit the beach. Archie has a friend called Boomer. And then when I get to the last page, when I click next, it will ask me do I want to read the story again or do I want to go back to the library. So I'm going to go back to the library and I'm going to show you how to edit a story after you've finished creating it. So at the top right of the screen, I've got an edit button. So I'm going to click on that one. And then I'm going to click on the story I want to edit. And then at this point, I can delete it. I can move it to a folder, um, I can cut it and copy it, um, and if you click on share you can send it as a PDF um, to the printer. So I'm going to click on edit, and again it'll ask me wizard or expert, let's stick with wizard for, for the moment. And then I get these options up again exactly as it was before, do you want to change your title, do you want to add pages to the end, or do you want to edit pages? 
I, as far as I'm aware, in wizard mode, you can't add a page in halfway through. Um, but you might be able to move those pages around under edit, I believe. So if we go into edit pages, um, these are all of the pages I've got in my story. And I'm going to, for example, change the picture on that last page. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to, and then I get, it opens up the picture and then the text pages. So the picture comes first. If the picture is okay and you just want to change the text, at this point you would press next. But I'm going to change the picture on this one. So I'm going to change that picture, choose from photo library, and I'm going to find another picture of Archie and Boomer playing in the garden. Press use, changes the picture for me. Click next and it'll say, this is the text. Are you sure that's the text that you want? I'm going to click next. And then it brings me back to the text, the sound page. Um, do I want to keep the text with the voice Harry? Do I want no sound? Choose a voice or make a recording. I'm going to leave it with Harry. Click next and then you come back to this options again. So at this point you can go back to your title, add more pages, edit the pages you've already got or click done. And once I've clicked done, it's saved it to my library. So that in a nutshell is, is wizard mode. Um, what you can, will need to do when you finish is make sure that you take off these options on the bottom of the screen. Um, I will do a separate video on pronunciations and I will do a separate video on expert mode. I think is probably the best thing to do just so it's not too much in one video. So I'm just going to go in and take those options off. So I'm going to go into my settings, into Pictello on the left and then take off the editing and then that's all done. Okay.